So this is it reincarnated, really, as you originally saw Mrs. Yeah, Brown. Yeah, well, it's from the radio series to the TV series to to the movie. I wanted to try and keep consistency in her, and yeah. and, and that's her. What is it about Mrs. Brown that just still it makes it the most successful TV comedy? People turn out in their droves to watch it whenever you perform it. It's she just has captured something, or you clearly have. Well, it's, it's obviously, she's I don't know because if I did, I'd be <laughs> no, I'd be making ten of them. <laughs> but I think there's a little bit of you know in the early critics the criticisms of it where they'd write you know this is very 70s and I go oh yeah yeah it is because that's what I meant it to be. I think there's an audience that comedy forgot. Uh, somewhere along the line, they left that audience behind, the Dick Emery audience, the Les Dawson audience, and they went off more snarky or, or you know, still good comedy, but it just left that particular audience behind. And I think Agnes is picking up that audience. She gets know? away with a lot as well, doesn't she? I mean, there's a huge affection <coughs> for her, and we kind of forgive oh. her the language and, and some of the jokes she and makes. And I think when you're that age, you do. You know, you, you, there is, you, you come to that tipping point in your life, um, age-wise, where you don't care what people think, and you don't care what you say, you just say it. And, and I think it's because of that, and they kind of go, oh, it's, it's Agnes. She certainly gets away with a lot more than I'd get away with. Yeah. Um, and both as because she's a woman, first of all, and because she's, <laughs> she's of that ilk. And I also think she has a redeeming factor in that, I mean, she is an awful woman. She's dreadful, but she adores her children. Mm. And she's safe. You, you, there's something about her that you kind of feel. If she said she'd do something for you, she'd move heaven and earth to make it happen.